a movie called Ponniyan Selvan is going to hit the screens and I strongly suggest you go and watch it because it tells you the story of Raja Raja Chola the great chola king who ruled in the 10th and the 11th centuries in south india in fact he ruled in south india but his empire between him and his son it stretched all the way from maldives to malaysia sri lanka to the gangetic plains my name is pradeep chakravarti and i'm here to tell you the story of raja raja the ponniyan selvan film is about the early part of raja raja's life but i'm not going to tell you more about it i want you to go and watch the film but what do you need to know about raja raja um raja raja as i said his his empire was truly remarkable he was able to build really massive buildings and he was also able to think through the smallest details so for example if he gave a gold jewel to the temple um right down to the quality of the gold the quality of the gemstones in it um the weight the 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 use of it where it came from all of this was there in details the second thing raja raja did very well was um he lived a personal example when he went to battle he would actually go there and stand in battle and fight with them uh, and after he conquered the region he would usually allow the ruler to rule that region and he would take a tax from them so that meant that there was there was not too much of a cultural shock in the places that he ruled uh, the third thing that he did very well was he constantly traveled to different parts of his kingdom he never sat in his room in his capital city and said you do this you do this he was always going to different places and checking on every place and in every place he would sort problems out immediately rather than having them postponed in terms of the way he administered the place when he came to power one of the first things he did was he had his entire kingdom surveyed for the land because in those days it was essentially an agricultural economy um, the more land you had under cultivation meaning you you harvested paddy or rice the more taxes you could uh, put in the more taxes you get you had the more money you could spend on your army the more money you could spend on your army the more territories you could conquer or the more number of internal rebellions you could uh, um, you could sort out and and quell and raja raja was able to get it through a very very efficient system of farming what are some of the things that raja raja and and at his time what did they do the first thing that they did very well was they took very good care of water the kaveri river gave the tanjavur delta a lot of water but they used many many canals to distribute that water to different fields because the more canals you have the more the water goes to smaller fields the more the water goes to smaller fields the more rice they can grow because rice as you probably know is a very very water intensive crop the second thing that they did very well is they never changed the land to the crop that they grew they figured out what the good soil was what the soil was and for that soil they grew a crop The other thing that Raja Raja did very well which is why we know so much about him today was most of his important decisions he took in the palace he would have them documented there was somebody called the Tirumandira Vole this person was the person who would take down the king's oral order write it down in palm leaf manuscripts and if some palm leaf manuscripts you know palm leaf manuscripts can get eaten away by insects so some of the really important orders were also made into copper plates and you can find them in museums in today and the really really important orders were also carved on stone so here was a king who um, who fought who was led by personal example who was a, who had a lot of attention to detail never made careless mistakes always documented wrote down things never took anybody for granted and above all he took really good care of his people especially the land and the water